how can we denote this? Um, we can write this as a upon 2 plus x. Or can I just write this as x plus 2? It just makes, just makes life easier. x plus 2 uh, plus bx plus c upon x squared plus 4. I don't know. I just find it weird writing 4 plus x squared. It just doesn't feel right. Anyhow, um, right? And now you take your, now, and this is obviously equals to x upon 6 minus x upon 2 plus x, 4 plus x squared. So the idea here is then you take your LCM, you get this, bx plus c, uh, this would be, whoops, this is an addition sign. This would be x plus 2. And then the denominator you have x plus 2, x square plus 4. But remember what do you, but remember what you have here. You have um, x into 6 minus x in the numerator. You have 2 plus x and 4 plus x square in the denominator. So what you really can do now, you can cut these both because they're equals to, right? Uh, and just to make the life easier for us, I'll just rub them because if you cut them both, then they just uh, equate to one, right? Which is not something that we need to worry about. So I'll just rub it off to make it make life easier for us. And you're basically left with this. And you now have to figure out the values of A, B, and C. Um, okay, so let's do that. Uh, okay, so try to pick values of the X that kind of lead to, they can cancel out stuff. So because it, it, then it's easier. So like, for example, here, if you pick X is equals to a minus two, B and C would just be canceled out, which isolates A makes life easier for us. So if X is minus two, here it's minus two, six minus minus two is uh, eight, eight into minus two. So this would be minus 16 is equals to A. This would be eight because of, yeah, uh, minus two squares, four plus four is eight. And this would just be zero because it's multiplying with x plus two, and if you put minus two in, it just equates to zero, which gives a is equals to minus two, which is good, which is nice. It's good, right? Uh, then you pick a value that cuts a out. In fact, I don't think you can pick a value that cuts a out because it's difficult to get minus four if it's x square. Uh, okay. What you can do, you can write, you can write this in a, you can simplify this a bit more, I believe, just to make life easier. So you can just take this and you can multiply it inside. So that will give you B X square plus two X plus C X plus two. Um, and now that if we take X is equals to zero, X is equals to zero, we can get rid of B, which helps us. X equals to zero would give us six on our left hand side. No, no, in fact, it would give us zero on our left hand side. Right, uh, it would give us A into four, plus since B is X squared uh, plus two X, that would just be zero. It would give us C into two, um, what is a into four? A into four is minus uh, is minus two into four. That's minus eight, which will give you eight here. C two. C is equals to four. You get this. Now you can just put some mm, well some some value of x in. It doesn't really matter which one. It doesn't really matter which expression you use. Let's use uh, x is equals to six because then it simplifies your left hand side. But if it's x is equal to six, then your left hand side would be zero. Your right hand side is a, it's a six square. That is uh, 36 plus four, that is uh, 40. 40 into minus two, that is minus 80. What is b? I, I, I'll just use this version, it's just easier. Or in fact, I, I could use it whichever one, whichever uh, level of simplification. Um, but I'll just use the first one. It's just easier that way. So it's that will lead plus B into six, right? 
plus c it should be these brackets into uh, 6 plus 2 into 8 you got this um, it goes 80 here I can take 8 and divide here which gives me 6b um, plus c what is c c is 4 so this is 10 10 minus 4 is 6 6 b b is equals to 1 I just take this uh, this is not your final answer though you have to pop this back into the equation so your final answer would be minus 2 upon x plus 2 sorry let me write this in a different color and oops I kind of I'm trying to rub something else, but anyhow, this was B. Okay, so it would be minus 2 upon x plus 2 plus what was B? B was 1. So that is plus x. And what was C? C was 4. Plus 4 upon x squared plus 4. This is your final answer, not just figuring out the values of A, B, and C. Let's move on to the second part. Hence, obtain expansion of x of f of x in ascending powers of x up to and including x square. So this is some really boring stuff, basically. Um, what what was the expression? Let me just copy this. It was uh, this. Okay, so um, minus two upon x square. x plus 2 and just copy this down oh, I don't know what's lagging today okay plus x plus 4 upon x square plus 4 uh, we'll need our MF9 table for that give me a sec all right we got this and um, so the thing to note here is that you need one plus x so you you your uh, in, the, in the expression within the bracket well x can be whatever it's fine it can even be in terms of square but you do need to ensure that this is one and obviously it is in the numerator that's something you need to ensure so this becomes minus two uh, this is two plus x power minus one in fact, I think it will be simpler if I just uh, standardize this in the denominator and then shift it to the numerator. I'm not sure why my stylus is messing up today. Um, anyways, so minus 2 divided by, uh, instead of 2 plus x, we need to write it in 1 plus something key form. So if I was to take 2 common in this entire expression, uh, that would leave me 1 plus x upon 2. And this this can cut and this can become one right which means that this can now then become minus one one plus x upon two power minus one so you have one particular expression that you need to expand let's try to try to find another um, yeah uh, x plus four uh, you don't really need to expand x plus 4 it doesn't really do anything uh, but you what you do need to expand is x square plus 4 now if I was to just stand to standardize this so x plus 4 upon x square plus 4 if I take 4 common this gives me 1 plus 1 upon 4 x square which is what I need um, and now this can be x plus 4 into 1 plus 1 upon 4 x square upon and you take uh, upon 4 and you take it to your power minus 1 and I hope you realize why I'm try doing going through this effort because I need this this these things to be 1 that's what the formula is valid for right now I have two expressions that I can expand so let's do so um, 1 plus x upon 2 I will be expanding up to x is square uh, now I'll have to look at the formula because I don't remember it it's 1 plus nx plus uh, and then it goes on so, so forth 
so one plus n is minus one in this case minus one um n x x is x upon two in this case uh, it's not just x remember it's whatever you have on your right side uh, so it will be x upon two in this case it will be uh, x square upon four in the case of the of here which we will get to in just a bit so yeah so one plus uh, n x plus n n minus one upon two factor okay so plus um n n minus one will be minus two upon two factorial into uh, x upon two whole square. So that's your expansion for this. I, I'll do the simplification. Uh, I, when I, I'll skip through, through the simplification because that's just uh, plain algebra. But let's do the other one. One plus one upon four, or this is, this, let's just write it as x square upon four. Make our lives easier. Minus one. We get one plus minus one. Remember, x here is in fact x squared upon four. And if you really think about this, which means you don't have to do the second second part of this. You don't have to go with plus and minus one into minus two because this bit where it was x squared really. Since now we have x squared upon four. If we take the square of that, that will give us x power of four, which will be out of the out of the range that we want. We just want it up to x square, so we can simply leave it just up to here. Uh, and let me just go and simplify the, uh, this stuff.